Hey, <clears throat> this is part two because I ran. I was doing the uh, part one, whatever I did. I did that on my tele telephone and uh, ran out of uh, ran out of uh, storage. So now I'm on my uh, you know laptop. I can have a lot more storage. I didn't know I'd be t that, that what I was doing was going to take so long. But I have to explain. <sighs> So much just to get to what I want to explain because I don't know you don't who has the information uh, the knowledge anyway of the thing the, the concept that I am using to be able to 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 um, engulf the the concept that I want to get to you have to have certain foundations in order to get to the you know the different tiers or the rooms and stuff you got to walk up the stairs to the door and open the door and and then have this you know all that stuff has to be available to you <laughs> otherwise you won't make it to the kitchen so um, i have to explain as i did in this part one and I'm, hopefully part two we can get to the actual gist of the matter while i'm on here which is about the uh, mind because everybody everyone comprehends the mind pretty much similarly, except what I'm about to mm, mm, uh, give you as a perspective. And this is the perspective. The mind is not necessarily in the body either. S sure enough, the self does not exist in inside the body. The self is uh, totally not corporal. So it can't, it has no physical location. This is science. I mean, people say, oh, you're talking spiritual. I don't never talk spirituality. I don't talk religion. I only talk science. This is all science. You can get any scientist and they will agree with everything I am saying. <laughs> That's the funny part about it. I don't know about these religious guys. I really don't care because I ain't into religion. I'm into science, the science of voodoo. Voodoo is a science. <laughs> ah. So, now let's understand. The self is not in the body. Okay, the body is in the corporeal world. The self is not in the corporeal world. What is between the two that joins the two as an interfacing is the mind. The mind interfaces with the brain and all that stuff. That's how it searches all the information, like a librarian. Because the mind can run through both areas. The mind gets information from the self directly. <clears throat> There's no middleman between the self and the mind. The mind, but so in therefore, the mind has to have a an ability to deal in the world that is not corporal the body has not that ability the brain has not that ability but the mind does the mind deals in a world that's not corporal you can call it uh, as an example imagination i think they're called the nine muses wherein the mind can move through all of these different things uh, whatever it don't really matter but there's a lot uh, i heard the hindus talk about nine different minds or something too the thing is that the mind has all these abilities that we are not using and that's where i'm at with this so now knowing that the mind is uh not necessarily physical it's not in your head actually i mean it might reside there but the mind has a way of functioning in the physical world. That's how it can deal. It deals on a cellular level, and it can deal with the uh, different things inside, like your mind, your brain. It can source information. It gets information from your, you know, your senses, which filters through your brain before the mind gets it. Anyway, they got to write a book. The brain processes the book, print it up. And then the mind go and reads it as a librarian say, yeah, I like this book, you know, blah, blah, blah. you know. They do this stuff and, like, they are fast. It's like you came and ain't no way to even chart that on a chart that's been invented, how fast all this stuff happens. 
but that's, you know, I'm just slowing it down so maybe you can get an idea about what it is happening, okay? So then now the mind accesses that information that's requested from the self, from the physical brain and body, so it has that, it does an interface job. As long as it's doing that interface job and taking its instructions from the self, the mind is fine, happy, and healthy. What happens when people talk about mental health? That's what's, that's when the mind is taking its orders from the self. Now, mental slavery, mental uh, health, all these issues people have is because their mind is ruling things. They've been convinced the mind has throw, overthrown the self. I ain't got no spirit. I don't, I don't need that. I, I think logically. You know, all that stuff that the mind and conjecture that has been told. You know about mind control? Uh, mind control especially in the 70s was a big thing. Mind control, uh, conditioning, social conditioning, caused something else, because it was done with uh, electrodes to make, you know, I know people who actually went through these kind of conditions with electrodes, where they they uh, um, conditioned their mind to override their self. So if, when a person is, you know, like, okay, you got kids around now, children, I mean, children, you got children around now, and they just give them Ritalin, they give them any kind of drug, something like that, so that their mind can override their self, because their self trying to come out, it's coming out, it's acting, it's doing its thing. But because the social situation don't want it to, it has to be suppressed. And then when you suppress the self, guess what? The mind gets depressed. And then you suffer from depression because you're suppressing the self. The self is the one that needs to be, that is naturally in control. This is how you can assess something in a moment. It's the self, not the mind. The mind takes time. It has to go through the doggone thing I just told you kind of slowly. Even though it goes fast, it cannot outrun the self. The self moves much faster. Mostly because the mind has to go through the physicality. Physicality slows everything down. Burns calories, it burns something. Physicality, in order to move from here to there, takes energy. The, the, the self don't need that. The self not involved. The self is energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. That's what you are. That's what I am. That's what we are. Energy. Walking around in these body suits, functioning in the corporal world. And as long as we know that that's what we are, and we know that the mind is the computer, then we won't, we got the com computer on auto, we got the plane like on autopilot with the mind. But when the mind takes over and the self come in and say, no, I don't want to go that way. And the, and, the, and, the, and the autopilot say, no, we got to go that way. Because if we don't go that way, the cops are arrested. Then they'll fear. Because all this stuff is mind control. Fear, love, you know, the impression of love and all that stuff. All them emotions that can be peaked by television programs. You know, I'm watching a movie and I'm crying. Get the hell out of this. a movie. I know it's an act. I'm watching a movie and I'm getting angry. I know it's a movie. See? That's how quick the mind can be. The mind is, hey, don't let it control you. <laughs> Come out of the mental slavery. That's mental slavery. Well, I read a book, and the book says, uh, and so, can you can you show me any? That, uh, I see, I'm going to need you to show me uh, where this, that, all that's the mind. Everybody knows it's the mind. However, Societally speaking, uh, they're telling you the mind is supposed to be in control. <laughs> so when your mind is in control, you think you, that's that's supposed to be. That's the oh, well, that's the way it's supposed to be. But it's not. <laughs> that should be simple to see. 
The mind is not supposed to be in control. What's supposed to be in control is the self, the real you, and what you are, what, I say, I don't mean who you are, I really mean what you are. What you are is the um, self. You are not the body. You are not the mind. Don't allow your mind to control you. Your mind will pick up stuff from everywhere and start, it'll, it'll go schizophrenic. It'll have these thoughts and that thoughts, have you in all kind of bad situations and all kind of crazy situations and stuff. Don't count on it. Check it. See what it's doing. Make it do it twice. Control your mind. Get into a habit of controlling what it does and what it thinks and where it goes. And how. You can control all that. Oh, I just, I'm always having these bad thoughts. Well, control it. You, as yourself, you can. As your mind, you cannot. Your mind won't control your mind. And you're thinking that this is your mind that you, you, you know. <sighs> Whoa, you're in a trick bag, a conundrum. You're trying to control your mind with your mind. It ain't going to happen. You have to control your mind with yourself. Yourself must control the mind. That's natural. That's how it goes. You want to control your mind. You want to stop having these, oh, these kind of, ooh, and that, other, whatever. You want this, and ooh, and you want that, ooh. It's the same way to the self. The self, yeah, the self is it. The mind really doesn't want to be involved in what it's involved in. The mind really doesn't want to be in control. That's why people are willing to take jobs, whatever. Figure it out for me. They're willing to follow, follow uh, like drones or sheep. Because the mind don't want to be in control, but it is unaware. It's been told and conditioned to not realize that it is doesn't supposed to be in control. It's supposed to be controlled by the self, not by outside influence, televisions and all this and movies and woo all the stuff that is controlling our minds today. And we're teaching our children to allow that to control our minds. And then we are allowing our minds to control us. This is the beautiful thing I call slavery, mental slavery. This is it. I just explained it. If you didn't get it, rerun the thing. Check it out again. I'll be back. I'm out. One love. <laughs> you know, hit the subscribe and the uh, like button. What they call that stuff? You know, the like button, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, share it with everybody, share it with your family, your children. Because <laughs> I didn't cuss, I mean, you can share it with everybody. And then talk about it, discuss it. Go over it again. Piece it up. Put pictures of it, pieces of it on YouTube if you want. I don't care. Separate it among the, whisper it to the birds. The synopsis of the world have to be in control of this. And we have to open them up. Hit the like button, I'm out. One love.